Hello, my name is Medea and this is a reading for Leo. Um, Leo, I've done your reading with my own deck, so the cards you'll see are from this deck. Uh, and I have to say, Leo, today your message feels very, very spiritual. It feels like um, you and the Leo collective, uh, perhaps, it's like you are all going through this upgrade, this spiritual upgrade. And it's interesting because there are a lot of swords. And today, these, these swords for you, they are all coming through this very etheric, very untangible. Is that the word? Untangible? Uh, yeah, it feels like you're going through a phase that everything feels light, feels like the opposite of heavy, feels the opposite of dense, you see? It feels that you're being lifted. I'm just seeing like you floating in this sea of clouds, but it feels so light and so, it's like, it's like you're waiting for this or you have been waiting for this spiritual upgrade and now that you're so close to it, it's like it feels more than you could have imagined. So we begin your reading with the Ten of Swords and, you know, do not consider the traditional meaning if you know anything of tarot because it has nothing to do with the traditional meaning. Uh, especially if you've seen the thumbnail, right? We have the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So, but it has nothing to do, I assure you. What I'm seeing with the Ten of Swords, first of all, the image that came through was this escalator, right? And these two people, that's why I'm saying it's happening not only for you individually, Leo, I feel like the collective is going through this upgrade, right? And perhaps people in your life, you know, people around you are going through this upgrade with you. And I feel like there is this sense of partnership coming through because there's the King and the Queen of Swords also, but it's like you are surrounded by like-minded people, I wanna say. But it's not only that, because I, I don't feel like there is much communication. It's just this mutual understanding that is going on at the same time that you're going through this major upgrade, this major elevation, this, you know, we could call it like ascension process, but it feels to you very clear. It's almost like you have been waiting for this ascension to finally... It's like for your turn to finally arrive, you know what I mean? It's almost like what I'm seeing because, you know, following the Ten of Swords is coming the Six of Pentacles. And so immediately this image of the escalator that I saw before turned into an elevator. So it's interesting also because uh, yesterday or a couple of nights ago, I dreamt of an elevator and it was interesting because in my dream, the elevator was not working. It was almost like I could go only so far, right? And after that, I was alone in the elevator and I was afraid of going up alone, right? And so I exited, but I don't feel like this is going on with you. I feel like you're pretty sure, pretty firm, pretty um, assertive, right? There is a lot of clarity in you, Leo. And it's interesting because I feel like what I'm seeing, it's like you have been on this line, right? Waiting for your turn to come, to step into this elevator, to be upgraded, to be elevated. So what I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles, it's the door, right? It's like the, the automatic door that only opens for those who are ready to go up and go fast. It's what I'm hearing now. Go up and go fast right? So you're not afraid of the truth and the speed to get to this truth. It's almost like you're eager to go, right? And so it's like you're this uh, 
happy kid in a sense, but not a kid. I want to say you are very mature, Leo. You are very mature because you're coming as, you know, either the, the king or the queen. But uh, I feel like there is this sense of readiness. You know what I mean? It's like you're so sure that you're ready for this, that there is no doubt that you're stepping into this elevator as soon as this door opens. And I feel like there is almost like um, there is this sense of uh, selectiveness. I don't know if I'm saying this word properly, but this door doesn't open to anyone. And it's not like you just get to the elevator and you push the button and it will open for you, right? It opens for you when it's your time to enter this elevator, you know? And because what I'm seeing here is like you're not going alone, it's like whoever is coming with you, they are ready too, right? And this is beautiful because this this is something that is coming right now, right? Uh, I didn't see this before when I was uh, looking at your cards. So this is interesting. It's like, oh yeah, that's the reason why there is this mutual understanding between you and the other that's just right beside you or right behind you, right? Because there is this understanding in both of you or in all of you, right? That both of you are ready that all of you are ready to step into this elevator and be upgraded and so after the six of pentacles there is the three of swords and the seven of swords and this is the reason why i'm saying perhaps it's not only you and another right two of you uh stepping into this elevator together, I feel like there's more, especially because what I'm seeing with this Three of Swords, it's more like this uh, triangular shape. It's more like this geometry that is, oh, okay, okay, okay. So remember when I said about this door opening up only when the intelligence of this elevator knew it was time for you to step through the door, right? Um, and so the signal, the, the, it's like the code, right? This, the word that is coming through is like a secret code, but it's not secret in a way that, um, uh, no one can know. It's just that you have to decode it yourself and perhaps you have to do it, you know, going through hard things, going through you know, experiences that were carving you is what I'm hearing. Experiences that were carving you and carving this shape, this triangular shape, which to me, as I said, you know, the number three for me is this number of creation, right? And it's, oh, okay, right. So this is something that I didn't see previously. I'm just seeing right now. Uh, if you've seen my last reading, I think it was Cancer. Yeah. So uh, the Three of Cups came through and it came through the image of, you know, these two on the bottom being a shut door and this third element wanting to come in. But in their reading, it was the Three of Cups, right? And here being the Three of Swords, and because we have a lot of swords for you, Leo, today, I feel like you're not shutting this door. It's like the opposite. Your doors are completely open to whatever, whoever, you know, it's like um, whatever is in front of you, right? Be it an, an, another person in this line waiting to enter this elevator, or if it is already your, like you are the next one in line, right, to enter. So whatever you have in front of you, if it's the door, you know, a portal or another person, I feel like you're, you're really open to it, to whatever is in front of you, right? This is a metaphor. Whatever is in front of you, you're open for it. And this is beautiful because it's like there is nothing holding you back. And because this is happening, so this is interesting, the relationship between the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords today for me and for you, Leo, um, 
it's because this is what is happening individually for you and this you know it's almost like this is uh, you see these triangular triangles here it's like this is the collective so wh whatever is happening with you right is happening for the collective that surrounds you those who are standing in line with you perhaps you know them or not but i feel like whatever is going on with you that you're carving yourself to you know find this perfect shape to it's like finding the perfect code to go through this doorway right um they have found this code too they are the ones who are there because they have done the same process so in a sense they are open as you are you know what i mean so this is emphasizing for me something that there is no need for words, for spoken words. Um, there is this mutual understanding and it's this just, you know, it's it's this conversation that is happening perhaps if you are in this, um, you know, metaphorical line and you're standing with others, it's like there is this understanding that because you're all there at the same time, you all, have gone through similar experiences right to get to this point of complete openness of it's like what i'm seeing here is like there is complete vulnerability on you on them on those around you right and it's beautiful because i feel like yes this could be happening with a collective that either you know very well or not but i feel like because of these two cards you know, the king and the queen of swords, right? I feel like there is someone significant. And, you know, I'm not seeing if you're the queen or the king, you'll know, right? You'll apply it as it fits better for you. But um, it's like both of you, there is this one significant person that is there with you that you understand each other in this very high level right you understand each other through the eyes is what i'm seeing it's like and it's beautiful because i've never seen the the the, the image that i'm seeing with these two cards so the symbol of the swords in the middle of the crown of these two authorities right which is you and the other person um it's like this activation of the third eye right so there is no need for spoken words as i said you see what i mean you understand each other because you both see each other you see the truth didn't i say something about you know you're not afraid of seeing the truth of going fast into it right it's because you already what i'm getting it's like you have already visited the truth through the eyes of one another and this is gorgeous because i feel like somehow it's like you you strengthen each other you it's like you empower each other you see what i mean this is so beautiful and because we're ending with the high priestess here this is it's like it's so interesting because there are so many messages coming through here first the message that i saw like the image that i saw right the message that was uh being conveyed through the image that i saw was this needle that was sewing you both that was weaving and it's interesting because it's like this rhythm right that i saw with this elevation uh you know from the escalator or from the uh from the elevator it's like there is this constant constant upgrade right so it's you and there's another and there's another and there's another and there's another and it's this constant weaving that i saw first of all with the high priestess right i saw this needle and this is what dictates perhaps the opening up of this door of this elevator door uh i hope you can see what i mean because it's um you know this the mechanics perhaps of the opening of this door it's like this right it's just going sideways but what i'm seeing with this needle that is weaving 
it doesn't have just one motion it's more organic right um and to be honest i don't completely understand i'm just questioning if it has to do with this relationship that i saw here what's happening individually for you is something that is happening to those around you so this is in a way it's this web that this needle right the high priestess which feels like this higher intelligence didn't i say something about this intelligence of this opening right so it's coming from this high priestess this is the intelligence that is weaving those who are standing in line to step into this elevator to go to to, to receive this upgrade in a sense right but the other thing that i saw here it's beautiful because you know it's almost like this evolution of the image of the Ten of Swords. So it started with an ex escalator, right? So it has a certain rhythm, a certain speed, and it feels that is, well, it has to start slower, right? For us or for you and this collective that is standing in line to get accustomed to the speed of this upgrade. But then when I saw this doorway, right, with the six of pentacles, I immediately saw this image transforming from the escalator into an ele elevator, right? So it's like you don't need to go like in a diagonal, right? You can go straight up. That was, you know, the difference, right? So you can access these higher levels faster. And now, because of what I'm seeing with this High Priestess being like a rocket in the sky, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it just feels like this rocket, this spaceship in a sense, right? And just ready to burst into the atmosphere. And so this is the difference in speed because, you know, because you have already achieved this uh, degree of... Um, so what I'm what I'm getting right now is like even before you and those who are around you, you know, perhaps a, a specific one, a partner maybe, um, even before stepping into this elevator, you had already upgraded on your own, right? You have been going through this ascension process, perhaps, you know, to a slower pace but it's picking up the speed and now it can go like this uh, very, very fast, fast moving mode of transportation, right? Now you're, it's like this transcending, right? This ascension process that now will travel in the speed of light, right? Now we'll go beyond the boundaries of the atmosphere that you knew before. This is gorgeous. This is something that like, I'm just seeing like you, it's like you're going beyond, beyond your boundaries, beyond your spiritual boundaries. It's like now you'll have access to this higher intelligence. And this is very, very, very powerful. Um, I am actually very interested now and curious to see what's going to come up in the extended because whatever is coming through here, I feel like it's taking you to this other level. It's taking you to this, to this higher atmosphere in a sense, right? That feels very intelligent, feels very, it's like this intelligence that has no tangibility, right? It's so etheric. It's so, yeah. So I'm just going to leave it there. Let's see what, what's going to come up in the extended. I'm going to pull more cards for you, Leo. Um, and also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes for you as a final guidance. So if you want to join me there, I'll be happy to see you. If not, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.